this video, I'm going to tell you how to install a Facebook script on your Unbounce pages. It's not the most complicated process, but we're going to walk through it because it's kind of important to make sure that's set up correctly. All right. So what we're talking about today is we're talking about Unbounce and we're talking about Facebook ads. Now, this is the Unbounce interface. And if you are familiar with it or not, here's a number, here's a few of our pages. And down here in the bottom left, we have a settings link, which I'm going to click perhaps. And it's going to take us to this page, and I'm going to go over to Script Manager. This is showing me all the scripts that we have installed for this client, which is Paracore. We have a bunch of them, AdWords, CallRail, Facebook, you know, all done a couple years ago uh, when we originally set up this client. And what I want to do now is I want to add a new script because we're going to add the Facebook tracking pixel. Now, if you're adding Google Analytics, it's super easy. You just put the tracking ID, ID in here, and then bam, you're done. If you are, if you have Google Tag Manager, which is also a best practice, you can drop in the container ID. Uh, we recommend that actually. But if you're just putting in a Facebook script, then you would do custom script and you would say Facebook video pixel. And then we're going to do add script details. There's Dustin. Look at that beard. All right, add script details. Now it's going to ask us a number of questions. You, and this is where maybe you get hung up. You don't know the answer to these questions. So we're going to kick over to Facebook. This is our demo account. If I hit this little hamburger guy here, I go all tools and I go to pixels. For my account, I've already started setting up my pixels. So it'll say something like continue setting up. Yours might be a little bit different, but you ultimately want to get to the view tag instructions. All right, so uh, view setup instructions. So I hit this guy. And if you're using Google Tag Manager, like you saw before, you can use an integration, big commerce, blah, blah, blah. Uh, those guys have direct integrations. Uh, here we're going to manually encode it. If you want to email it to a developer, that's great. But if you're going to do that, I don't know why you're watching this video. So we're going to do manually install the code. And here, number one, it says locate the header code for your website, find the head tags in your web page, or locate the header template in your CMS. When we go back over to Unbounce, it says placement. We're going to select header. So it's telling us to put it in the head. It's kind of different because it's not showing the brackets and all that, but really we're talking about the same section of the website. It's the head section of the code. So we're going to select the header. And then we're going to say we want this on all the pages because we want it to be on the landing page, the thank you page, light boxes, everywhere we want the pixel to fire. All right, we head back here and we then grab the pixel. We're going to copy it. It says put it just above the closing head tag. You don't really get to choose that here, so we're just going to hit save it, save, save, save. I'm going to move this guy up so I can save and publish the script. Now, what we're doing is we're basically saying I want to add this Facebook pixel to all the pages on this subdomain. So we're going to say temporary. We want to add it to all pages in Unbounce that are published on the temporary.paracore.com subdomain. And I'm going to save and publish the script. Okay, now what that allows us to do is track traffic, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't allow you to track any conversions the way it's currently set up. Right now, we've basically just said, when you look at the code, if you see here in the middle, it says track page view. It has the initialize, the ID, and then it says track page view. So it only allows, right now we're just tracking page views of all the different pages, but that doesn't help us if we're maybe tracking conversions. With Unbounce, there's not a thank you page, there's a modal pop-up. So let's say that we're running lead generation and we want to track when someone submits the form and we want to lead to fire when the modal pops up that says thank you, right? That's like a reasonable and probably fairly common thing that people are trying to do. All right, so there are a couple other options here. Advanced matching, we're not going to do because we're not pulling in data and we don't have those types of things. And then you can test to see that traffic is being sent. Basically, uh, Facebook just goes and checks your website to see that the pixel is available. With ours, it's not going to be right now. All right, so I do continue. Now, Facebook is telling us, here's how you do events. And there are a lot of different types of events in Facebook that you can use to optimize your campaigns in the Ads Manager. Um, but one that we use a lot is generate a lead. You can also do purchase. So purchase has, um, you can just track that a purchase was done, or you can put in a conversion value, or you can um, add other parameters. I mean, you can do a number of things here. Um, I'm gonna turn that guy off. You can do registrations, payment info, you know, view content, a search. We're gonna do generate lead. So what it's saying is, what Facebook is saying is, um, when someone submits your form, you want to tell Facebook that a lead was generated because maybe you're optimizing on one or a seven day lead window. If Facebook isn't seeing leads come in, they can't optimize on that. So what we do is we do track um, on page load. And then we say, um, we're going to, um, this script right here is saying, add it 
in your body tag. So you see the head tag, this little slash here means that it ends, and that's where we added the last script. Now this is saying put it in the body tag on your form completion page. It says below the head tag, that means outside of the head tag. So on a website, you have the body at the top, and then below that you have, or excuse, geez, you have the head at the top, and then below that you have the body. And so you either place scripts in the head or in the body. And usually the head tags are like preloaded, like really standard on every single page. And then in the body is where you might fire something that's like a conversion. So we're saying here, I'm gonna copy this to the clipboard. It's saying put it in the body tag and then, um, and then uh, you should be good. So I'm gonna go back to Unbounce. We're at this same, uh, I'm gonna create a new script because this one's currently good. We're gonna do custom Facebook video pixel conversion, add script details. And then I'm gonna say before the body end tag. Now, well this says after body tag, so you have two options. So this one, um, when you go back to Facebook, excuse me, I'll correct myself, it says just below the head tag. This means after the body tag. So that's at the very beginning. It goes open head, close head, open body, close body. So this is after the um, opening body tag. And then we're gonna do just on the form confirmation page. And we're gonna drop this little guy right there. And then we're gonna put it on the same domain. And we're gonna hit save. And now, We've created, we've added two scripts to Unbounce. The first one tracks all Facebook activities, so you're seeing page views and blah, blah, blah. And then the second one tracks a lead when someone actually fills out the form in the thank you page, the form confirmation page, comes up. So that, my friends, is how you add a Facebook pixel to your Unbounce account and also track a lead. You can, you can add additional events to the form confirmation dialog, or, I mean, in some cases, you can even do just two separate pages and then do something different that way, but I don't really recommend that. Um, but if you have any questions, please ask below, or um, if you've enjoyed the video and you wanna see it more, it really helps us if you like it or you subscribe and um, let me know if you have any questions. So thanks again, my name is Adam with Paracore and uh, I'll see you in the next video.